Good evening and welcome to Project Zomboid. We are here, uh, we're going to be doing the, uh, using the Forever Fog mod from Infinite uh, uh, Weather mod. And we're also going to be doing uh, another uh, random traits. I like playing around with those. I've had a good uh, experience the last couple days and I want to do a little bit more, see, see what else is out there and what and sort of use some of the things that I don't usually use. So uh, we are going to go ahead and hit random and we're going to be an amputee. I did this one before um, when the arms was amputated. It makes definitely makes it a lot harder. There are definitely a lot of things you can't do when you uh, can only use the one arm. Restless sleeper um, doesn't sleep as well. Stress eater, that's okay. Slow reader, that's not really going to affect us. Terminator. Um, and not really going to be good with a gun and uh, I mean good, good with the gun but we're not going to be able to really use that so we'll have Lola Munoz with her tartan golf hat and we'll hit play and we'll get started for the evening and hopefully we will we'll see how far we can get without um, it's going to be really hard to set up one of, won't be able to barricade a base with uh, an amputee or we won't be able to use a hammer and nails, so that's one big thing that we can't do. So we'll be relying on, um, I believe we can still put up curtains, so we'll be relying on that as far as ba building a base. And we'll only be able to use the one-handed weapons, we won't be able to help hand carry extra bags. It definitely will limit us, but um, it gives a little bit more of an interesting game. So. We'll go ahead and wait. I hope everyone has a good week. It's almost Thursday and getting ready for the weekend. Trying to decide whether I want to do my Christmas shopping tomorrow or next week. Um, I guess less, next week will probably be more people out there. So maybe I'll do it tomorrow while I have a chance. And uh, so that'll be, that'll be fun. And I've got to Yes, now we'll go ahead and we'll get started here. All right, as you see, we have the fog on. Oh, we have a TV on. Let's uh, turn that down. Oh, it is down. Let's turn it down again. And volume. And we're gonna change the channel to Life and Living. Oh, and we're just in time for the cooking show. All right, so we might as well go ahead and learn. And I may have a mod on here that I, a couple mods on here that I forgot to take off. So I may have to go back and take those off uh, in a minute uh, once we die. But for the moment, we're uh, just starting off this way. Um, one of the mods I might have on is one where you lose everything if you die, um, including keys, everything. And um, that would be a problem. I'm not really look looking to add to that difficulty right now. Um, it's hard enough as, uh, uh, and um, and then uh, we'll, so we'll go ahead and turn that off once we, if we uh, die. Look, we got more cooking since we're just standing here. All right, I guess that's it. Might as well, I guess we can leave that on. Let's see what we are got in the fridge. We got some egg cartons and some tomatoes. Let's see, we got a, um, we can close the curtains here. Got some tweezers, that's not much, but we'll take them. What have we got in the, f let's see. We've got first aid, that could be useful. And the rest of them are too high for us to use. Oh, open that door. And let's see, we can go ahead and rip up this rip up these pants and long socks so we'll have them ready. 
Thankfully, we didn't start without with any injuries other than the amputation, so we don't actually need them yet, but it's always good to have them on hand. And this is the door to the exit. All right, we need a, we need a some sort of Let's see. We've got two saucepans. Let's fill those with water. And then we'll have those ready for later. Let's see, what can we use for a weapon? We've got a kitchen knife. All right, that'll work. We'll make this our uh, base then. Let's see, what is this over here? This one doesn't have anything covering it, so we'll have to get a cover for that one last window. And we go out into the fog. Hard to see anything, but I don't think we see anything right now. Oh, there's maybe somebody up here. Yeah, there's somebody up here, and they see us. All right. Oh, we got a digital watch right away. That's good. All right, and we got bloody. I guess you're going to get bloody when you're using a knife. I think I might like this house better than the last one. Guess it really doesn't matter. Let's see, we got some painkillers we can take with us, some bandages. We can take these curtains with us and we'll take it back to the other house. So we will keep the other one as the, let's see, we could have, no, we can't carry a flashlight, so it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. All right. Oh, we better clean up a little bit and drink. We don't have a water bottle yet. And we'll get rid of some of this blood so that because we do have a set of blood on us. So somebody's coming up in the back. Got two guys coming up in the back. has a digital watch. I'll take that. He's got a key to something. I'm not sure what. And then we got this other guy we need to take out. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna need another weapon soon. And I'm all covered in blood again. I don't think I checked the books. Let me check the books. Right, and so can't take any of these. I'll take the actual book. And nothing in there. All right, so we'll come over to 
What do we see? We've got a shed that we can get into. Hopefully one of these will open without me having a smash. Alright, I guess we're smashing. Oh, we got a double bag! And a metal pipe. <laughs> and... Alright, where'd the knife go? Attach it to my belt. I'll have that ready. And attach the other pipe to my back. Got a hammer. That can go into our buffle bag. Oh, it's already got a whole ton of stuff in there. All right, well, you know what? I don't need this stuff. Bandages, yes. Let's keep the bandages. And then might as well get rid of everything else. And I'll take back the hammer and the first aid kit. And where's the first aid kit? And, alright, I'll take those too. It's a small bag, but it's something. Oh, someone broke it in my house already. You running? Ah! All right, I got lit and great. And 
and apparently I am in a graveyard. Hopefully if I can't see them, they can't see me. Alright, we'll come back this way and we'll come back to this house here. She got a hat. Gotta have the hat. zombies that direction. We're just going to try to go around. fog makes it very hard to see but hopefully that means the same thing for them oh there's a car may have to use it to get out of here it's not the best spot if I can even use the car. I need food. So I guess I'll go to the kitchen first. Guess I'm cooking the salmon. Hopefully I'll remember to turn off the oven like I, unlike what I forgot earlier today. Do I have any more bandages? I don't know that I do. Oh, better get that closed before I die. Do I have a pot? No, but I have another kitchen knife. And it's a better shape than, uh, than the first one. Where's that other knife?
There we go. Now I can get rid of the knife, the other knife, and the pipe. Hey, Linda, thanks for coming. Can you hear me? Still cooking. Nothing. We're almost cooked here. Good, thanks. I found out last time that my last, uh, my last, uh, one didn't, I had the sound off for some reason. So I want to make sure that I, hopefully everyone's hearing me this time. Go ahead and eat the salmon. Right now we're playing the Forever Fog mod and our character rolled as an amputee, which is making our life a little bit harder. And we're in the middle of a lot of zombies. It's a lot of zombies. How is Chinatown? How was it? All right, I'm coming up on this house. Don't see any zombies around. So we'll get a little closer in. I think there's a zombie inside though. There is a zombie inside. Oh, that door just right opened right on in. Doesn't seem to notice. There he goes. And I can, I'm gonna rip up some more clothing. I'm going to turn off this radio. Oh, it's the emergency broadcast one. Still going to turn it off. Wow. That sounds interesting. Take those with us. And what are we gonna do? I don't think we're gonna do cooking. Now I need to find a house that I feel comfortable with making a base. I think I need to have some more, more centralized. This one's got a nice little shed to it. the hard way. Ooh, we got some duct tape. And some boxes and nails. And we change our hammer here. Oh, I see. So not really worth the time. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's good to know. Now I won't have to bother. Thanks for letting me know. Alright, what do we got food wise? Got some processed cheese and some tomatoes. Ah, painkillers. Oh, we'll wear this cardigan sweater. We can't use the. I don't. Why did I pick up the hammer? I can't use it. Let's see. I can use foraging, though. And tailoring. So in case I get the stuff to do that. I'm making a little bit of noise there. Alright, I guess we go along the road then. No idea where we are. I don't usually play in uh, Riverside. There's a bait shop. Don't think I can use a uh, a um, fishing line either, though. Maybe there's something else in there. Maybe I can find some seeds in here. You never know. Water filter? Eh, I don't know if I'll take it. Just fishing stuff so far. If I was a fisher, this would be great. Take the soda bottle and empty it, and then I'll have a drink. Zoom back out again. Ooh, a burger place! And a burger place zombie. Oh, it's half chef hat! I've got to wear the chef's hat. guys down there, but they're down there. I'll go around the side, maybe they won't see me. No. My sneaking went up. Must be doing something right. I'm not going to get in here without smashing this, and I can't smash this with these guys over here. So I gotta try to... There we go, he saw me. Got them separated. I've got the... Oh, I've got a ton of those guys over there. So they're going to all hear me if I use the, uh... If I try to break that glass. So I guess I'm not doing that. Alright, don't know where I'm going. Here's another zombie. Can't even barely see. That's the only problem with this mod is it definitely takes away the things you can see. You still see the zombies. Ooh, 
Ooh, another digital watch. I don't know if I can take this apart or not. I haven't found a uh, screwdriver. Let's see, what can we find? Oh, a lot of zombies is what we can find. Let me see if I can thread the needle here a little bit. What's this little thing here? Is it a gas station? Maybe? No, look at all those zombies. Never mind. I think it's a gas station. I think I'm getting over there without uh, attracting the zombies, so we're gonna go away from there. There are some houses over here, though. Oh, good, I can still scale fences. I'll start over here. getting in this house. I really don't want to wake anything up by uh, smashing windows. Apparently there are wolves howling in the distance. This is a nice little house. And it's got a bunch of other houses around it. And maybe this can be a, a, uh... Oh yeah, most of the windows are already covered. Alright, I guess this is our base. I don't have a whole lot of food in it, we'll have to change that. Do have a fanny pack. Some rain boots, definitely want to wear those. Got a screwdriver. Can I use it? Apparently I can use it. All right, good to know. Put that on my belt then. That's weird. He's got a hand fork. I'm gonna take him out of the house though. Wait. Oh yeah, I can't even take him corpses out of the house because that involves two hands. So I guess I'm not using this house then. 
I don't really want a house with a corpse in it. Let's grab the food, though. Not much of it. Ooh, some chocolate. Oh, now I'm overburdened. Might as well eat some of this. Get rid of the shoes. And we don't need the saucepan with water. Let's see, what are we dirty? I think I need to clean my uh, skirt. Let me clean that. Then we'll drink. And ever vigilant on changing dirty bandages. I will sanitize these once we have a actual base, but for now we'll just go with this. We're changing them. Clean them all up real quick. All right, let's check the next house over. Well, we'll come across down here. Oh, no, no. Never mind. Can't tell if they can see me yet or still see me or not. I'm guessing they can. Yes. Oh, no! That's two less zombies. We're up to 19 zombies, which is surprising considering... Oh! Alright, I just polluted this area. Dang it. I had high hopes for that area. Ooh, a jacket. It's all bloody, though. Ugh. And so dies our uh, amp 